What's up guys? We are in the Super Bowl challenges. They were just released today and we are on the Super Bowl pass challenges. This one's Super Bowl 18 against the Raiders. Allen was named MVP of Super Bowl 18. He dominated with 20 carries for 191 yards for two touchdowns to allow the Raiders to cruise to a 38-9 win over the Redskins. You are down 14-3 in the second quarter. Outscores the Raiders to advance. So let's get to it. All right, guys, this challenge actually is a lot longer than I thought it would be for the very first challenge of this series. But uh, this is the Super Bowl. It's the Super Bowl uh, entrance, blah, blah, blah. But you're down 14-3 to three in the second quarter with four minutes, as you'll see. And I found basically that on defense, the cover four and the cover six work best for me in a 3-4 set and, um, and you'll find that uh, through the play that that works best. He gets me a couple of times but I pretty much shut him out on uh, defensive play. So I'm starting here. You start out on offense and so I go to my safe play to kind of fill the other team out and I go with the boot play we you start in really good fill position on the 14 yard line like a halfback wheel with a post route at your wide receiver one work well but I go to this boot I'm looking for uh Reed uh which is the uh, tight end coming from the right to the left I see he's covered so I go to my check down to Bennett because I see that, that, that they're in some type of cover three here um or at least the guy, my guys are covered. I, th I think it's covered three deep or something like that. But everybody was covered to my liking. So I go straight out to Bennett. And if you have a big wide receiver, I'm mean not wide receiver, but a big uh, tight end on, on the edge, take what they give you. Take your check downs. And you see he was big enough to plow in. I go in, and my goal at this point is I want to go in and get my two-point conversions the best I can to get my points up because I don't expect to shut them down. So I go for a mesh play here as usual. It's not my favorite play. I'm sitting here calling audibles because I like to do this now to try to shift them out of position a bit. And uh, it works sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't. And you see that guy steps off. So just uh, just calling those audibles actually pulls them off sides. And that brings me closer. Not that it really matters. I was on the two. Now I'm on the one yard line. I go back to the mesh play and I straight up run it here. And I'm just doing the audibles again. Trying to get them to shift, shift a tad just to get them a little out. Just so my wide receiver Jones here will have a little bit more of an advantage. They stay uh, still, so I go ahead and go with it. And hike the ball here, and bam, he's got plenty of room there. Uh, sharp over on two is good as well if I wanted to go over to the right side. So here we are uh, kicking it off. I want to kick it a little short. You see I go a little bit, uh, just barely in the green because I want to make sure that they return it. I don't like them uh, kneeing it and getting it out on a 25. Plus it, it gives me an, an opportunity to try to strip the ball. Here uh, I didn't, didn't do anything special, but I stopped them right on the 25. I go to the 3-4. And I'm just going through the 3-4 patterns here. <sighs> And I'm trying to get better with my uh, usering, so I'm pulling off and usering my middle linebacker this whole time. I believe I've used Ryan the whole time. They run the ball. I switched the user over, stopped the run for a loss there. And so far, so good. And there, I, I, I just pulled a cover two hard flats. Those work fairly well, but uh, I don't find they work consistently. It just depends on the team you're playing and how good you are, I guess. Uh, and I'm doing soft squats on, on the edge here. I'm using Ryan on that one receiver. So I'm trying to stay with that one receiver. Another guy makes a play here. And um, just basically makes a little contact. He may have swatted that ball there. I believe he did, yeah. So we're good. We're on third and 11. So I go and I believe I pick cover four here. And this is a, a scheme out of the three four that I pick a lot. Uh, and I was having a, a great deal of luck with this and a little bit of luck with the cover six. And so, because they're on third and 11, you know, you know they're going to pass it. So I go back here. I'm not doing a great job. 
as you see I missed my guy so I'm like alright but I'm not going to just totally give up on that cover four because of one play you saw that was my bad usering I was just all over the place with it that's why I'm doing it trying to get better with it uh, and Ryan is not the best guy in the world to do it with but he's not bad I said there's no excuse going back here he got a first and ten and so they're going to run it. We're gonna, I'm going to use her, the guy closest to him, smash him down. He's back behind the chain, second 12, Dante Hightower. He's the man. And uh, we're second and 12. You see we have the cloud flats on the side. We got three deep there. I got my user looking around for anybody in coverage. There's nobody. This guy, he throws it short because he didn't see anybody quickly downfield. I'm fine with that. That's a two-yard pickup on second down, second 12. I'm cool with that. I go over, go here, I think, with a cover six will. Yeah. And so uh, I'm really protecting the pass here. If they run it, I'm confident we'll stop it. So he goes back with a pass. I'm trying to stay with my man. I do a pretty good job, and he has nobody to throw to due to that throws it away as the first defensive stand and I get the ball back right now I'm very happy because now I'm like all right cool that means I get the ball back I should score I should be able to, to advance and get ahead worst case scenario I get the ball last and I win the game right now the game turns out differently than what I was thinking it was going to but uh, you see there that was a really good punt he, he, he pins me back on the 12-yard line kicking it out of bounds I go in here and I uh, go to, to the uh, shotgun. And, well, it said shotgun, but it's, I'm going to an outside handoff to Tavon Austin, who they you see they switch out from cover two, and that leaves it nice and open. But a guy shed the block. I come around him. I may have gotten a yard there. Uh, it looked good from the start, but this, it, that was just a guy that was shedding the block off my line. Come back, go to a play action, probably boot here because it's one of my favorite plays. Because I have so many options to read here. You see you, uh, you see Martellus Bennett going to motion. Back it off. Don't see anybody I love here. So I'll go back to Bennett as I did earlier. You see him plowing forward for the first down. Works well. And I can't emphasize this enough. Just take what they give you. You know, use your check downs, and, and sometimes you'll score off of them. Uh, you see, they were in the cover six. That's why the coverage was uh, so good there. And here, I'm going back out to halfback Will, max protection, going to the post route with Julio Jones, wide receiver one over on the right. He's in the slot. He comes up. I see uh, he's open in the middle. And, uh, you know, you've seen that play over and over and over if you've watched my um, – watch my videos I watch many of my videos and they were in cover one uh, pretty much playing man there if you play a man on Jones it's gonna be trouble for you coming out here uh, back to the boot again it's bound to be open eventually I see it's wide open there or, or nice and open so I go to Jordan Reed nail him for a nice pickup and they're calling timeout so I'm actually thankful for that it's, it's second uh, Second quarter, minute 20. I need to watch this time. Uh, so I'm going out here for a run play. To try to pull him in a little bit. Just go to that halfback stretch again. Going to Tavon Austin. Sliding protection right. Looking at the protections. Cover two or cover four. I don't know which one. Come around the edge here. He picks up a nice first down. Gets out of bounds. And uh, you can't really ask for more than that. Uh, so he's 7 for 36 so far. And it's just going to show, uh, show a replay of that. Everybody was holding their blocks well. And getting out of bounds was nice. All right. So the next play with dial up is... I don't know if I stick with a halfback stretch or I go to a passing play here. I go back to passing play. And you see how it's glitched up here. Pass is that. And run is pass. And I don't know what's up with that. But uh, here I'm going out to the power O to Jordan Reed. Don't believe I get this. It's close. But, oh, wait, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm watching this. After the fact, I don't like the read on Jordan Reed, so I check it down again to Bennett. I'm checking down to Bennett constantly here. 
and I get six shards on that pickup. Again, take your pickups. You see it was in cover three. That's why the uh, read wasn't good on Jordan Reed. So again, I check down to Bennett, who's out in the flats. And I go back out here to uh, the boot play again, because again, this gives me so many reads that I like. I like all of these reads, whether I go to Reed, Eifert, or Bennett, and Reed was open, and I just bring him. One guy misses on the dive, and he's in for the touchdown. So uh, we're looking really good at this point. I'm really happy with the results right now. You see this one guy. I just go to the outside a little bit, and then I cut in, and that one guy misses. And uh, just showing a slow uh, replay on the pylon cam there. Here I'm like... Do I want to just, just go for the one here or go for the two? It doesn't really matter because it'll go to a four-point game or a five-point game. So since it doesn't matter, I'm like, all right, fine. Let's just go for two because it doesn't matter. <laughs> so I'm picking up that mesh play again. And, uh, I, yeah, I'm doing the audibles again, just trying to, uh, as I've told you before, just trying to shift them out, trying to get them uncomfortable, basically. Maybe shift. Sometimes they'll shift a little bit. And uh, it was tight there. I mean, that uh, that corner, that DB stayed on Jones fairly well. If he would have dove or something, he may have gotten it, but he didn't. So that was good. Here, as always, I try to kick it just a little short. Gauge your kickers to where you know where you can kick it just long enough to where it's deep, but it's not so deep but that they knee it. And you'll see why it's important. I don't know if this is the one that it happens on. Let's see. They come out. Use your strip button every time, and bam, I strip it right there. So since I caused them to bring the ball out, and I'm using the top right button, that strip, I get the ball back right away. So, I mean, I can't believe my luck here. I mean, it's I created it. You create your own luck, I guess. But coming out here, showing the replay of the strip, strip comes right out, and my guys are really aware, jump on the ball. Really good for good uh, field position on the 27-yard line. Have an opportunity to really go up fairly uh, substantially. I don't know if I'm getting the ball back or not in the second half. So uh, 59 seconds. I have a little bit of time, and I do have two timeouts. So I go for the stretch here with Austin. Just trying to pull them in if they're out and come around this edge. And I just decide to go up because if I go out, out I think I'll get less yards. Ended up getting four. I'm happy with that, considering um, the protection. And so we're going to go for the, the kill shot here because uh, we're 23 yards. And this is about a 20-yard play, sometimes 25. So it's, it's the post route, route to Julio Jones, halfback Will. I see him. Bam. And he's just right in. I, I do a rat catch there. And so that allows that kind of gives him a little speed boost um, after he catches it. If you if you've ever noticed, if you hold down X uh, after they catch it, they they kind of get a little speed boost and they'll make a little move if they have to. But he was already past that uh, safety, I believe, far enough to the right to get in. So I've scored again here, 25-14. Fast forwarding here, going ahead and take. Uh, uh, since the way the score w is working out, going ahead and taking the uh, extra point, kicking it off. There's only 47 seconds uh, left here. And they're going to receive. I'm going to try to strip it again. No such luck. But you see, I'm trying. I'm trying there. And he's on the 24-yard line. At this point, there's 44 seconds left. I'm going to play... Uh, Let's see. I usually would go man up 3D, but I decided to go ahead and stay in the 3-4. Nah, I do back out. I back out and go to man zone and man up 3D. I was about to say, why am I staying in that in that other formation? So I'm going man up 3D. Uh, and <clears throat> I'm just trying to keep them from getting downfield. And bam, guys in the right position, right time. And it's just a poor throw. That's, I'm not going to say that it was all me or anything like that. It was just a bad throw. And I had the ball back again on the 29-yard line. So I'm I'm just like, cool. If I run out the clock, cool. I'm in field goal range, cool. So worst case scenario, I'll probably get three out of this. And this is just showing the replay of the of the bad throw and the interception by Keep to Leave. So 
Uh, we're going in here again, probably boot. Yep, going boot here. And you see they're shifting over to kind of a, it looks like a cover one. They're loading the right side. And nobody's open. And I got, I was a dangerous. Nobody was open on that. My check down was not open. Even though he was waving his hand, he was not open. And that was dangerous to throw. That was asking for a pick. You see here, he waves his hand, throw it to me. I'm like, all right, fine. You make a play. But no. I knew better than that. Should have just thrown it away. You see the coverage is this is a three deep coverage. And it's a crash press. That's why that right edge was uh, loading up. You see that safety that's being pulled up on the coverage there on the right hand side of the screen. It's second ten. I'm good. I came away with one. I'm going to the post route to Julio Jones there. It looked like it they have two safeties pretty much even on the field. He gets there in the middle and he just snags one over top and and the man I mean he's the man. He actually gets a nice push on the replay if you watch this. Uh he gets a nice push from their guy to help him go forward and maintain his balance going the end zone. You see if it shows it, him catching it here, he would have gone down sort of. But then he gets pushed there right at the back by the by the Raider defender and I don't know if he would have gotten in without that push on that attempt, but he got in, so I'm good. So I'm like, well, all right, we're up 32-14, still in the second uh, quarter. So, of course, I'm going to go here for um, uh, my mesh play for two points. And probably going to screw with them with the audibles, don't know. And the clock is, is counting down, and so I just go ahead and hike it and go for it. Instead of doing any of the audibles, I didn't have time. And there we are, 34-14. We flipped the 14-3 uh, deficit to a 34-14 deficit. 28 seconds left. Kick it off. Go to him. Of course, I'm trying to strip again. And I'm trying hard. But he's not going to let that happen right now. He's, he's, you could tell he was gripping that ball with maximum protection. And I'm going to play man up three deep at this point out until the uh, third quarter. See man up three deep. And so, I mean, there, I, I could be quiet at this point. That's the coverage I'm going to play. I'm going to try to come off that edge to, to get some pressure. They do a nice run up the middle. Don't get it, though. I have too many guys coming in doing their job. And that was it. No, it wasn't that. I thought the fast forward was going to the next quarter. All right, we're second and two, and I am pinching the line in case they run it. And they do not <laughs> take me out there. He gets a nice one over the middle, but I'm okay with these little dink, you know, dink and dunks with, with with this amount of time left. I'm not I'm not worried about it. Even if they got in the field goal range, it's a win for me. Uh, but preferably, you'd like to keep them from scoring at all. And so I'm coming off the edge. I'm not pinching the line because I know 13 seconds they they want points here. And they still dink it behind the first down marker. They call the timeout, nine seconds, second and three. I'm still going to stick with my man up three deep. I may pinch the line here. Let's see if I do. Um, I do not. All right. So they have a double team over there. He gets the first down, but... Uh, it's, it was nine seconds. It's, it's over. So no points for them. We have to kick off. You may get the ball back because I've noticed it flips it. Uh, like sometimes you get it back, sometimes you don't, even on the same challenges. So you tell me if, if you got the ball back or if you had to kick off in the second half. Same thing there as always. Try to strip the ball, kick it. Uh, just short enough, maybe one to two yards max into the end zone or right at the line of the end zone. I'm staying in my 3-4 here. <laughs> and I've got hard flats out. Got my user up, Ryan. And he's on the edge, so I'm staying with my man. I notice they, they're a run, so I turn him around and I make the tackle. All right, so second four, that's a win for them. 
So I go, I go back to go to Predator here, and I think I let's see, I think I do an outside linebacker strike two here. No, I don't. I'm staying in the in the flats. All right, and there's nobody for me to cover really well. I chop his legs out from him there. So they're so they're moving the ball here. I'm not liking it, but they've done it before a, a, a little bit, it's, so I'm not too worried about it. I come out here in what looks like a cover four. Uh, we have the seam flats. I have a middle linebacker over the middle. They do a run play. It's a good run. I mean, they're they're really they're really moving the ball nicely on me here. Looks like a drive that's going to end up uh, with points. But uh, we're going to make sure that doesn't happen. Going to cover four here. I know I'm hitting cover four on this one. You can see. I was going to show you with my hand. You can't see my hand. Okay. <laughs> he comes back and he gets one. But he doesn't get it. So I just use her straight up the middle because I see the Red Seas part there. And I'm like, oh, God, this is awesome. So the, it's just parts, the, the whole line parts, the whole middle uh, parts, and I just come straight down the middle. You see, everything's split down the middle, and I just rush right in there and just bam. That should have been a sack fumble, but we get ours. So bam, it's a clean tackle too. So they're coming out third and nine. I pushed them back. They were in good, uh, good a decent field position on second down now they're not now I'm in cover four again and staying with Ryan on the user he gets one out and I'm like oh man I want to pick that off but he just threw it away so it's fourth down I think I got to punt the ball so it's a win I'm starting to get greedy to where I want to pick balls to where I want to get fumbles stuff like that and when so it punts I'm happy with punts, but I'm starting to get to the point to where I'm wanting more. You know what I mean? Anyways, uh, same old, same old. I, and I know this this probably gets boring watching these same old plays, but uh, I'm just trying to get things. I mean, this is actually a little bit of a different play. I'm going to the power O here out to read because I'm so deep in my territory. I go to him, dangerous, but... It's just popped up, and I'm like, oh, I can get that. But he, he kind of stumbled down on his knee. If he would not have stumbled, I would have been able to catch that ball, no doubt in my mind. So I go back here, and I go to the boot because there's more reads here, and I'm still comfortable, confident that I can get it out without getting a safety or losing yardage. Come back here, do the fake, play action. He's wide open. Go downfield. Cut in a little bit, trying to get a little more yardage or break it free. That's a nice pickup. Gets me out of the uh, of my own territory or my own, you know, out of danger. Anyways, deep in my own territory, that is. So that's just showing the replay. Reed's a fighter, man. I mean, uh, Bennett's a fighter and Reed's a fighter. I'd have, I highly um, recommend you pick up Jordan Reed, even if you need a th uh, third string tight end. He's a bargain. He doesn't cost hardly any coin, and he's so good. And I'm still using him on my team. Coming out here with a run. Um, I do a counter play here. It's quite successful. Pick, pick up about 11, 12 yards there. It's the first counter of the game. I uh, may run on another one or two counters. I forget. But So that that's just the, the fullback fake ha uh, halfback flip. And uh, it works out well. And I'm subbing in Derek Henry, but I believe I use. Uh, let's see, see here. I actually believe I use Tavon Austin here. No, nah, I'm using Derek Henry straight up the middle. Okay, so I'm just going up, burning clock, going up the middle. It's a decent pickup. I'm fine with that. If it's more than a yard. I'm pretty happy with a straight straight up the middle. So we got three yards off of that. I think I'm going to stick with the run here. Go with a halfback stretch. Sub it in Tavon Austin because he, uh, he's got the speed. And you'll see why he's so important. A speed back so important for these stretch plays. So I'll come off the edge here. And, oh, I spin by him. And it's goodbye. 
it is good by on these if you zigzag a little bit if a guy is kind of next to you and he should should get you if you zigzag it keeps them for whatever reason the game mechanics it keeps them from coming over on you uh 99 percent of the time that's why you see me kind of zigging and zagging here it's like shouldn't that slow you down well in real life it, it should but uh it kind of screws them because it makes them kind of stutter step on the uh, defense and they kind of trace your steps so there it is another score we're up to 40 14 at this point and uh i'm going back to that mesh play and i screw up here i get a flag on it so i just kick the pat kick it off down the middle trying to go up short here i'm really practicing this and holding it on a and then, and then letting it go to get used to uh the head-to-head -head stuff and not letting people block my kicks uh and here again trying to strip no luck so this is just talking about if you, if you look to the stats if you pause on him you can see the the uh, difference okay uh and this one this is an outside linebacker strike now we're in soft squats here all right i've got him right in the middle Ooh, he's got pressure on him. He, he managed to get one off. And then I'm an idiot here. See, I didn't fast forward this to show you. Sometimes I screw up. I mean, and I sit there and I use your people and I'll dive them. So I just gave them like 30 yards there. I mean, they should score. They should get a field goal or something off of this. And so I switch back out to cover four here because I've just had better luck with it. And I pinch the line in there. They motion, they do run, and that works out well. So my read was proper, was correct. I go back to cover four probably. And let's see, I, indeed I do. We have Reed, uh, I mean Ryan over there, and I'm just going to stay with my receiver best I can. And that was a computer CPU tackle. It was not me. Probably going to go back to cover four again. If it works, it works. It, it puts me in, in a good position. Yep. This looks like a running play, but it's probably play action. Yeah, play action. Staying with my man, and it gets batted down. So now it's fourth and ten on the 39. So this is like a 56 yarder, and I'm like, ah, this is like 50-50. This this is a long field goal. So he he goes up and. Oh, he almost gets it, and it shows a replay. I just want to show you how how close this was, but scoreless still. They still haven't made a point yet. He goes up for the kick, and oh, so close. Too bad, so sad. All right, so turnover on downs, and so I want to burn some clock best I can so sub it in Just play to, I think I'm picking a halfback guy pinching the line with Derrick Henry audible over to the left you'll see it see that little bit audible into the left that's the weak side it's a nice pickup there about 15 14 15 yards with Derrick Henry burning clock it's running I'm not just chewing clock but I'm still running the ball you know what I mean and we got the same play here and it goes to the fourth quarter I just showed run a lot of times I'll show run there and then I'll go to a pass uh, just in case they're trying to read my previous play and I mean it's a CPU I doubt they are so <clears throat> come back here uh, making sure Austin's in. Go with a stretch, I believe. Let's see. No, what are we doing here? Yeah. Going with a stretch with Tavon Austin. Come around the edge. Good blocks. So I make a good cut there. And it's to the house. I didn't have to go zigzags there. I was just, I was just like, you know, I was just having fun. That's all that was. So we're up 47-14 with 4.54 left in the fourth quarter. This game is won. I mean, it's been won, but it's really ice at this point. 
And so there's the run again with Tavon Austin. He's a good pickup. He's super cheap. A lot of my guys are cheap. Uh, and I go for just, just a regular PAT here. Not worried about it. Uh, but a guy that you, that you want to pick up is Tyreek Hill. And that one I could kick a little deep. A little too deep there because they uh, knee it. And here he moves the ball on me a bit. And I think I'm fast forwarding it while he's uh, moving the ball uh, a couple of times. Just, cause, just because his video is so long. Uh, but you get to see what he's doing to me. I'm not like cutting it out. But here in a minute I'm going gonna, gonna to do a tackle right here I'm going to do a dive tackle and you see how hard that dive tackle was it flipped them up in the air and it caused them to lose control of the ball and now I have the ball now I can't say do dive tackles blah, 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 and you'll get the ball all the time you know I'm just saying that worked for me hitting his legs like that I have one guy come in and do it once and then I do it again and that flips him and he just loses control right here's a good angle of it you see him lose control of the ball and uh, that could have been reviewed, I guess, but it wasn't. And so I got to have the ball back again. <laughs> it's three turnovers at least at this point. So uh, we're going back to Tavon Austin uh, out to the halfback stretch right because I'm just burning clock, and it's worked out pretty good so far. far. <clears throat> and look at this. I I'm amazed at this point that they haven't adjusted to this. And first play straight to the house. That's three TDs, halfback stretches, Tavon Austin to the house. So now he's pretty much a solidified Super Bowl MVP. I mean, what are they thinking? Not covering that edge. I mean, I've been burning it. I burned them bad on that play. I don't know. Anyways, that's that. So we're at 54 14, 354 left. So I'm going to go ahead and go for two. What does it matter? I'm doing my audibles. Uh, I call timeout there. I think the time is running out and just kick the PAT. I don't know if I was just like, ah, I'm just going to kick the PAT and not rub it in or if the time is running out. I don't know. So just straight uh, kickoff, 354. And, and look at them. I mean, they are rattled. Look at them screwing up the uh, return there. I mean, if my guys have been closer, they've been screwed. But they managed to get it back up with the 16 after that. Just, I don't know what they were doing there. And staying in the 3-4, uh, what am I picking here? Probably cover 6 will. I have some pretty good luck with the cover 6 and the cover 4. You, you've seen the 4. This is one of the uh, for only times you've seen the 6. And I'm coming down the middle. You see, I had that pressure in his face. He was about to get plowed, so he just threw it over the middle. That was a really dangerous throw. But it's Derek Carr, so he's great, but he's not good. So I think I probably pick cover six again due to the luck, and I do. Uh, or due to, the, yeah, due to what just happened. And comes down, throws it out. Yeah, he's just shook. He's really shook. The score's where it is. Bad throw. That was that was at the feet of uh, at Deion Sanders. You know, I, <laughs> I mean, at this point, it's third and ten. What's he gonna do? He's got pressure in his face again. He manages to dump that off, but I have guys in position to uh, to contain is what what that coverage is basically. So it's fourth and three. He's not going to give me the ball again here to uh, just score on him again. So they punt it. I get this. Get Tyreek Kill just for your punt returns and your kick returns. He's the best kick and punt return specialist in the game. His speed is, is phenomenal. I've actually gotten my first uh, punt and kickoff return ever in the game. And I just acquired him uh, like a few days ago. He's not that expensive. Uh, and he's totally worth the money. And he's a decent wide receiver in space. He's got so much speed. It's ridiculous. So I'm going out here on the boot, out to read again. And there I'm always bullet passing it, and I'm throwing it on the inside where only he can get it. Or the worst-case scenario, the uh, DB 
is going to stick his hand in there and bat it away. There's no way it's going to be an interception. So we're at 255 left, second in inches. This is always a good time to do a throw of some sort. So I'll try something a little different. I have some luck with this, but it depends on, on the coverage, of course. So I go with a play-action misdirect shot here. And I'm always looking at Jones and Sharp. Typically, you should look at all the uh, read Jones and Sharp, your X, A, and B reads here. I go to the X read, and, and he's open, but he just goes up and doesn't hang on to it because of that contact. But Jones will, uh, I would say, more times than not come down with that. So I'm like, all right, let's go back to the old-fashioned boot. I do want to move it, move the ball down best I can, get some points out of this, do something, burn the clock, maintain the possession of the ball anyways. And come back around, he's wide open, go up the middle. They collapse on him fairly quickly, but it's still a nice pickup. We're heading down to the two-minute warning here. So I think I pick a play and let it go to the two-minute warning. I don't know if I actually snap this or not. Uh, 209. Let's see, yeah, I'm just calling some audibles, screwing around, and I let it go to the two minute warning. And so, we hit the two minute warning. And there's no real tips and tricks. I'm just commenting on what I'm doing in here. And if you happen to have trouble with this challenge, because you are down to start with this then you can watch what I'm doing and uh, on defense and offense and uh, perhaps use some of it. And I'm doing a counter play again. It's a successful play. It's not a huge, massive pickup, but it's still successful in my mind. Yes, it didn't get any, get any yards, but I still I like that because it, it, it it's saying, hey, I'm keeping you honest. Hey, I'm, I'm running it to the left side as well. Uh, you know, I'm not just running it to the right right side. It's 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 a good play. Even if you don't get positive yard, I mean, you don't get any yards on it. I still think it's a good play to run. So, and you'll bust a big one every now and then. An audible to the weak side here with Derrick Henry up the middle, and get a nice little cut to the outside because it was it was all protected and and jumbled up in the middle. We get a first down there. We have a minute and nine seconds now. So I'm still trying to get points out of this, but burn clock as well. So I'm not worried about it, obviously, because of the score. Uh, what happens? Just really burn the clock primarily. So we're going to go out to the right again. And that guy has a nice beat on him. So I decided to go up towards him, stay in bounds, let the clock continue to run. They have three timeouts, but unlikely they're going to burn them. Uh, considering the score. So we're going back to single back. And Derrick Henry up the middle. The weak side is on the right still. So managed to power up for a first down. I didn't think I was going to get first down or really more than a yard or two on that play. But he, he did it. <laughs> That's Derrick Henry for you. Alright, so we're going here to halfback Will, post route Julio Jones. Trying to go ahead and snag in a, la a late score here. Let's see what happens. He backs up. I don't like the coverage at all on this, but I still go for him because he comes around that edge. And he had it. He had it for a while. It's almost like a fumble to me because he had that in, in, in his hands, it looked like anyways. So I'm like, alright, 17 seconds. Hmm. What do we want to do at this point? So I just go out to the boot. We're on the 15-yard line. I'm like, all right, we can get a little closer for the field goal. And throw a Martellus Bennett in motion. Come out here. See, he's open. And we don't get in. I'm like, ah, dang. So I call timeout here. Our last one, eight seconds left. So I'm like, well, if I don't get this, I'm kind of screwed. I won't be able to call timeout. I want to put a couple more points on there just because I'm that way sometimes. And so I go and kick a field goal here. I just, you know, practice, whatever. So I go up, do it here. I believe I'll hold it. Yep, I'm holding it, holding it, and let it go. This just helps with the blocks, as I said. So we're up to 58-14. I mean... 
I don't know what else to say at this point. And then we're just doing man up three deep at this point. He's got one more play at two seconds. Often you'll you'll come away with a uh, uh, with an interception on these Hail Mary plays. He comes back, and I thought I had one here, but ah, I didn't. So that's that. That is Super Bowl 18 won 58 to 14, being down 14-3 to start it in the second quarter. Quite the comeback. Uh, a couple things to note: we did not allow them any points on. Defense. I was using a 3-4 defense. I was using the middle linebacker, Jake Ryan. Uh, cover 4 seemed to work the best, uh, and cover 6 uh, worked well as well. Um, on offense, you saw uh, um, all those plays. Uh, probably used 6 or 7 plays, 8 plays. Uh, so that's that. Yeah, there's, there's not a lot more to say. And the reward on this challenge is 250 coins, I believe. And that's it. It just advances. It just allows you to advance to the next challenge. So, I'll put up the uh, next challenge that looks uh, a little bit, um, a little difficult. But uh, if you want to see all of the challenges, let me know, and I will put them all up. Um, and uh, let me know if you had any problems problems uh, with this challenge. Uh, obviously, I got this one on 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 the first attempt, and and. And it was 58, 14 or whatever it was. But uh, you guys take care. As always, thanks for watching.